Uga Ginya Uruwa Kenya Zani Mwana Wito Oke Tonjita Ne Au Ne Hela Inyo Komo Dobe Na Bara Nake 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 that is Regadi Gashagwa today when he was addressing uh, the fellow Mount Kenya uh, citizen on what appeared to be him actually pleading with the former president of the Republic of Kenya, that is Ukuru Mwigai Kenyatta, to come uh, to his call and assist him in the tribulation that is currently uh, undergoing in the regime that is headed by William Samoye Ruto. And uh, in this video, I want us to debunk the myth that people are, have created uh, that the issue between Uhu, Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa is actually a distraction from real issues. Yeah, I'm taking some little coffee so that I can continue giving you a lot of uh, wisdom. Uh, and by wisdom, I mean uh, political know-how about what is going uh, in our country. Now, back to our discussion. By the way, my name, uh, for those who do not know my name, I am the Socrato, and here at the Socrato TV, we actually explore, discuss, and discover all hidden stories that are shaping our political landscape. Now, Rigali Gashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, for quite some time has been behaving in some strange manner. And a strange man, I mean, he is not the Rigali Gashagwa we know. The Rigali Gashagwa who, uh, is at, who was attacking Raila Amolo Odinga. By the way, just a simple question. When did Rigali Gashagwa last attack Raila Amolo Odinga? Do you remember? Personally, I do not remember. Even when uh, Raila Amolo Odinga attacked Ruto, on what he was referring to as Raila Ruto's cabinet being clueless and not handling well the floods, Rigali Gashagwa did not respond and that was very strange. He did not respond anything. So, there seem to have been cold war in this government between Dr. William Samuel Ruto and Rigadi uh, Gashagwa. And uh, uh, let's just listen to what uh, Nyeri governor, who is the governor of uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, said a few days ago. Mwashimwa Charalge, Panapo Moshi, Panamoto. Na ni vizuri tuseme hapa, nikiwa nimesimama hapa. Kwamba sisi katika mlima huu Hasa kuanzia meru Kuenda na kuzunguka huu mlima wote Tuliondoka asubuhi na mapema Tukaichagua serikali ya William Samoy Ruto Na mweshimi wa regathe kachagua Tuliweza kuachagua Mnakumbuka kulikuwa na vita kubwa kabisa Lakini tuliamua Tutawachagua wale wawili wakiwa wameshikana wakikuyu wanasema tagekuwa na ke kitu kimoja ningetaka taifa hili lisikilize mimi huwa siongei sana lakini nikiongea ni naomba wanisikilize na wanisikilize vizuri hii serikali ilikuwa ya machozi ilikuwa ya kilio ilikuwa ya watu wengine kuweku wajela ilikuwa ya kukosewa heshma na ilibidi sisi kama taifa sisi kama jamii Tuangalie mtoto wetu, tumuambie mtoto wetu ondoka enda kando, tumempata mwingine hapa ambaye wewe unaendelea kumunyanyasa. Na ni vizuri tuseme hapa, rais wetu alie raisi sasa, akiwa deputy president, alifanyiwa mambo ambao tunasema ni ya unyama. He was, alikosewa heshma, akanyimu wa magari, akanyimu wa mambo mengi. Na sisi tukaona kama wakikuyu kama mlima tukasema huyu ndiye alisimama na mtoto wetu na imefika wakati wake tumemfanyia madharau 
na mambo haya na kumudhi haki sisi kama jamii tukasema tumekataa na tunamchagua ni kweli ama si kweli nikuwa kana tikuo tulifanya hivyo basi nikisimama hapa katika kanisa we will not allow our son to go through that at all kama mbaya kama mbaya kama mbaya but he will not be taken through that hatutaruhusu he will not be taken through that hakupewa kiti na mtu alingangania na hicho kiti kura tulizozipiga ndizo zilimpa deputy president and he is not a deputy president by default ni mpango wetu na yeye ndiye ameshikilia mlima so ningetaka nistangaze nikiwa hapa kwa kanisa madharau yoyote kwa rigathi gachakwa ni madharau ya, ya mlima kweli uongo kudhihakiwa ni mlima unadhihakiwa kweli uongo as many as of that opinion say i the eye is have it at first uh, if you've been following me for quite some time uh, when this rumor between Rigadi Gashagwa and Ruto came out i said at first i was also not very sure or i was skeptical of the rift between Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa but this is what i said if uh, just to take you back there, there had also been an issue between Raila Molo Odinga and Ruto where by Ruto Raila Molo Odinga had attacked Ruto and i said this if the attacks from Ruto Raila Molo Odinga will be consistent then i will know that indeed there was a rift between Raila and Ruto but if the attack will just be once and then the attack disappears i will just know that it is a gimmick which Raila Molo Odinga is playing with the people and time has indicated me indeed Raila Molo Odinga has never attacked Ruto again since that time so it was not normal for just someone to wake up and attack you at once then disappear so that was a gimmick that Raila Molo Odinga was playing with the Kenyans together with Ruto for the issue of Rigathi Gachagua I said this if allies of Rigathi Gachagua will start attacking Ruto and if allies of Ruto will start attacking Rigathi Gachagua then I will know that indeed there is a rift between these two leaders. But if that will not happen, then I will also assume it as a gimmick. Now we are seeing that the proponents or the supporters of Dr. William Samuel Ruto, including Kimani Chungwa, who has been on a television where he attacked Rigadi Gashagwa, saying Rigadi Gashagwa is bringing this issue of one man, one vote, one shilling, without really understanding uh, that there are other big counties even like Kwale by, by, by the way, uh, Kimani Chungo brought a new perspective there Kimani Chungo brought a new perspective there whereby he actually debunked the mint and said of course the idea of Rigadi Gashago as much as it is good it does not it is not a wholesome idea it does not actually consider uh, some things, for example a county like Kwale, which is producing titanium, which is a very expensive and valuable mineral, has a low population. But the revenue that they are regenerating is more than even many other counties that have that large population. So if we are to go with one man, one vote, one shilling, then assuming with the assumption that uh, the more you are, the more revenue you generate, then that will not be a wholesome uh, look of uh, things. And Kimani Chungwa was actually attacking Rigadi Gashagwa. We have also seen the Nyeri governor, who is a very close ally of Rigadi Gashagwa, attacking, saying that they will not allow anybody to frustrate Rigadi Gashagwa the way Ruto was frustrated in the regime that was headed by Guru Mungai Kenyatta. So I have every reason to believe that everything is not good between Ruto and the Chagwa. Anyone who believes contrary, uh, should go to the nearest mental hospital because everything there are all signs and people who are actually bringing this narrative that this is just a distraction to to put people away from the real issues like finance bill let me tell you something majority of kenyans people who are actually understanding the finance bill or who are discussing it are in, they are not even more than 20 percent Majority of Kenyans do not even care about the finance. They don't know. They just care about taxes. So, 
if you are president Ruto, will you be concerned about the many or just the few? So, even if people will lament, people who are lamenting on social media, they are not more than 20% of the population. Majority of the people are busy working. And so it is not true to say that uh, this is a way of hoodwinking people of this or distracting them from real issues. Indeed, such tactics can also be used. But I have sat down and evaluated them. if indeed they are making sense, I don't see any sense there. It should also be noted that the previous finance bill, finance bill 2023, was passed without a lot of monkey business. We saw nothing like uh, the structure. So, by assessing the patterns and how everything is going on, and the fact that Rigazi Gashaba is now calling for Huru Kenyatta to unite, when Uhuru Kenyatta was the person who actually he was mentioned to be the kingpin in the Limuru Three, if you remember, in the Limuru Three, and allies of Ruto like Kimani Chungo have attacked Limuru Three. Are you getting the point? Now, if allies of Ruto have attacked Limuru Three, regarding I have not had him actually attacking Limuru Three. In fact, he has called for unity among the Mount Kenya people. So it is open, it's even open to the blind and to the deaf that there is a problem between Ruto and uh, Rigadi uh, Gashago. But as always, Kenyans want to see things the last minute so that they can uh, believe. But I'm here to actually make you uh, be aware that uh, it is just a matter of time and Rigadi Gashago may even decide uh, to uh, stage what we call his presidential uh, his presidential uh, strategy in the year uh, 2027. 20, uh, but still, there's an opportunity that even when people have disagreed, uh, they can actually make faces and uh, uh, work together again. So I still give a benefit of doubt that Ruto and Rigadi Gashago may decide to bury the hatchet or uh, to end their feud and continue working cordially, but that is not guaranteed, considering the fact uh, that these two individuals are both uh, leaders that are heavily driven uh, by ego. I don't know what you think about uh, this situation, and especially what Rigadi Gashago has said today. Please feel free to share your opinion in the comment box, so that we can advance uh, this political conversation. Until we meet again, Bye-bye.